we've packed the toothbrush, said goodbye to the kids, and we're off on a trip of a lifetime to Albania and Uzbekistan and lots of places that aren't in between. Sofia is the capital of Bulgaria, and with 1.5 million inhabitants, it's almost in the top 10 largest cities in the EU. It's surrounded by mountain ranges and is actually the third highest European capital from an altitude perspective. It's a beautiful, vibrant city with a lot of history and culture that seems to be on display particularly well in the springtime. Spring, a good time to visit. I know some might disagree, but I think even some of the Stalinist buildings have a character that is rather endearing. I know they may have housed all sorts of communist institutions in the past that would have had dubious functions, no doubt, but the remaining buildings do have a certain appeal. I'm no student of architecture, but I reckon they do. They definitely have a fascination for fountains and big communist Soviet style buildings. We joined up with a walking tour to get to know as much as we could about this city in as short a time as possible and we weren't disappointed. The two hour walk through the central city was informative and very well presented. Sophia. She is our protector, our, our saint of the city. There are food establishments ranging from pizza slices for a couple of dollars, which a lot of people take advantage of, including me on a number of occasions, to the high end, which I tried to avoid given budget is my middle name. No, it's not. It's Martin. Uh -huh. a nice view from our hotel window of this guy's butt. That's my guy. So there's this rather curious building with lots of quotes from some really good people like This is Diana Hugs can do great amounts of good, especially for children Thanks Princess Diana Down here we've got Albert Einstein Strive not to be a success but rather to be of value Yeah, that's good Oh, no not really Oh that one says Words of wisdom there. And then we've got oh, Oprah Winfrey. You don't become what you want, you become what you believe. That's very good. Very good. Uh, but I think my favourite is old Plato over here, bottom right hand corner. We can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light. That's really good. That's really, really, really good. Uh, if you want to 
beautiful paintings too. Quite an interesting building, really. Good on you. Good on you. So there's the mosque, there's the synagogue over there, and there's the church over there. The one thing I've noted about the Balkans is that the three predominant religions all seem to coexist together quite well. In Sofia, you can see the Jewish synagogue, the Muslim mosque and the Christian church within just a stone throw from each other. In fact, Sofia is said to have the triangle of tolerance. I took the opportunity to visit inside all three. One really good story that I heard dates back to the Second World War when the Bulgarians who had sided with the Germans, actually defended their Jewish population and successfully stalled the German requests to send their Jews to the camps. Apparently this is considered a national triumph when so many other countries were complicit with the Nazi atrocities. These ruins are apparently 1500 years old. Modern subway station with some ancient ruins on display. So when they were building the subway station about 10 or 15 years ago, they discovered some archeological remains from about 1500 years ago. Hooey, don't find that in New Zealand. On display underneath the ground level, i.e. kind of a subway level. So these are just casually lying around in the subway, just a bit further down the subway from those archaeological treasures down there. There's some more archaeological treasures here. So fantastic graffiti hiding some new archaeological ruins. On our way to Bulgaria. Skopje to Sofia. Another bus ride. So we arrived in Sofia from Skopje by bus on a Saturday. A pleasant drive through the countryside, but once you hit the outskirts of Sofia, you are reminded of the fact that this is an ex-communist nation with its Soviet-style apartment blocks lined up in attention in a very no-nonsense way. Given the bus station was right next door to the train station and we needed to arrange some train tickets for our trip to Bucharest in three days' time, we thought we'd get it done while we were in the area. And this was where we experienced Bulgarian customer service for the first time. Customer service in Sofia is, and I hate to say it, abysmal. 
It is not just my opinion, in 2007, the Bulgarian Tourism Agency noted that poor customer service was visitors' largest complaint when visiting Bulgaria. Our first introduction was the ticket lady at the Sofia railway station. The disdain that she had for us was clear. It was as if she had received her training from the Bulgarian army and we were the enemy. It was a style of customer service that was repeated numerous times, with a couple of odd exceptions. It was particularly a shock given the warmth we had experienced in Albania and Macedonia. Did you know that Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, has Bulgarian roots? Also, the women's high jump world record has been held by a Bulgarian since 1987. And the dude who invented the first digital wristwatch, Peter Petrov, is of Bulgarian descent. And I can't believe that I got to almost the end of this vlog and I haven't once mentioned the Wombles. Ah, childhood memories. I actually had the Womble board game where the object was moving around the board picking up rubbish. I also had Womble posters. Mmm, good times. Uncle Bulgaria was my favourite. Remember you're a Womble. Please like and subscribe.